Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Kedre. Today we're running the Anna Bill called the Pitbull class. This is gonna be really fun. All right, check this out. You're gonna have what doesn't kill you because it's just, this this perk is so good <laughs> with Anna. You, you just gotta run it. Then you use Grampler, which is one of my favorite perks for both Anna and Leland. And then we use last ditch effort. Reason why I wanna use last ditch effort is because if it drops down below 30% max health, I automatically get equipped a bone scrap, which allows me to use my grappler, which I instantly get off, which means I can start using my what doesn't kill you, so that way it buys me time to get my health back. It's just non-stop ending. Watch, check this out. We got the attributes 50 out of 50. You know what I'm saying? We always doing 50 because I just can't. And proficiency. The reason why I'm going to put it in proficiency instead of my endurance and my toughness because I can fight my way through. So I don't need my endurance to be up. And I got enough toughness. I feel 35 is good enough, right? So what I'm using proficiency for is I put all my perks, uh, I put all my attributes inside proficiency because the gathering is going to allow me to get my bone scraps faster for those tight clutch situations, right? And that's what we're going to do. If you guys are excited for this video, man, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. If you're new, let's get into the game. All right, so it's a sissy, a cook, and of course, a boba. And I'm not afraid. <laughs> Why? Because I got the pit bull build. Bro, I'm about to go off. Go oh, ham with this. Yo, he actually pretty close. I'm going to come this way. Get a tool, and I'm going to kind of go ahead and just try to get my points in he don't see me he don't see me he don't see me he will never see me cool thing is because i got my scavenger thing up proficiency i can get my stuff really fast i'm not spamming it because i don't want to like wake up grandpa I'm gonna unlock this unlock it and also so we can get through tough situations like this so this is honestly really great to put in proficiency other than me trying to put it in my stamina because why not i mean i can fight my way through it i can bulldog my way all right we're gonna get another bone we got bubble he thought somebody went out yeah so you go ahead go upstairs i'm gonna get my bone scrap so i can fight whoever else comes around and then i'll escape and get out once i'm done now this is a bulldog type build so as you can see with the proficiency, I can get it really fast because I got my proficiency decent. I'm going to go upstairs. Here. Sounds like he's going towards the exterior. And yeah, he's going that way. Nope, he's running back. I don't know what he wants. Bro, pick, make up your mind. We're going to run through here. We're going to just create some um, some tough old fights, you know what I'm saying, bother people. Sounds like, oh, Sissy right there. Yeah, come on this way, Sissy. Bring her all the way out here. Right? Yeah, I'm about to put this two piece in your ass, bitch. All right. So now I run this way. Oh, she actually see me. All right. We got to get, we got to get. All right, it should buy us some time. Run around the car. And I should be getting healed. This will help them see more clearly. <laughs> uh, again, boom. Now we're going to jump right down here. We're going to jump down here. Right? She can't get me. There's bone right there. Bone scrap right there. All right, let's get the bone scrap. She knows where we at. So we got to be quick. Try to get the playoff. So he's looking. We're gonna fight Bubba too. You think I'm playing, bro? I mean, I'm with the I'm with the shits. Hold up, let's heal up real quick. Yeah, I had to kind of focus in. I didn't want to die off so early. Trying to get good gameplay for you guys. All right, where's Sissy yet? Anybody escape? No one escaped yet. Ooh, you missed, bitch. Go through here. 
We go upstairs, right? We go upstairs. It's, we try and buy some time as much as possible, right? So if we buy, if we do this. All right, we just got healed. Oh, shoot. Yeah, she got me. Stabbing ground. I'm uh, stabbing the back. I got. I got. Uh, got the clown freaking bubble, whatever you call him. <laughs> would I like? I would like to let you. I'm in cold room. In cold room right now. I'm about to give me a. Oh, all right, cook. I'm giving you the business. You want to get away in my position, bitch? Oh, I snapped him at the door. So have you right. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm getting attacked by both. Uh, no, 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 no. I got the heal. No, I'm not. The fuck are we? No, 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 no. Let me low. God damn. Shit. Why is she lopsided like that though? <laughs> they they could at least they could at least put you like on the grass or somewhere and you know gently. I bet you was Johnny. Such a douchebag. All right, guys, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit more team effort to help out the team and also be on the aggressive side. So we're gonna be keeping one bone on us, but also keeping a tool on us, so we can work on objectives and get things done quicker. That way, it has a higher chance for us to all escape. The thing about what's great about Anna is that she can take a lot of hits. She can work on the objectives. She can be team player. All that good stuff. That's what makes her so good. As a, so, you know, she can be supportive on the aggressive side, defense side, and strategically just do super well i go to this right door a lot but i can't help it man they spawn me over here let's see if we can find a, a tool i gotta be careful i forgot we got the fucking cook he can scan our ability he can use his ability to scan us so yeah, i swear this is like my favorite spot to go through a lot of time i'll go for this vow just because it's just easy to kind of get them to like then focus on the vow like Imagine if you go for the vow, you knock it out, and now they have to go and watch and protect it. Doing the vow. We're gonna go this way. This should buy Connie some time. All right, now this dip. We're gonna go through here. She's probably gonna try to stop the valve, but that's cool. Cause now she has to protect and watch the valve. Grandpa's right there. We're gonna go and get a bone scrap. And we're gonna stop grandpa. So this is the idea. We want to create as much havoc as possible. So now we're going to turn this off. We're going to go look for bone scrap. We're going to get two bone scraps. Nice. All right. So he's stabbing grandpa. <laughs> Lily got grandpa. Nice, nice, nice. We're still all alive. They haven't killed anyone yet. So that's the idea. We want to keep just keep on having them distracted, running around. Right? We're going to help put pressure on this Val. Connie's over here just focusing on trying to get that escape. If we can help out with the, uh, the fights over here, I think we're good. I can instantly get out my fights. So that's cool. If we get to get out, boom, right there, boom. Get 
Get our stamina back. Now let's go. No! We were so close! We were so close. I don't like how the hitch detection that they can just like get you when you're like a couple feet away. Like, bro, you really wasn't even close to me. I count that as a winner for the team. We opened the door and we helped with the vow contribute and they got the basement door open and Connie's about to escape. So that's two escapes and she's about to escape either by the, the vow or by this basement. It looks like she's going to hit this basement. So I take that. Even if it means that I die, so what, man? We got the team to get able to help the team get out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you can see, we got the teammates to be able to escape out, even though we was able to. All three of them was able to escape out. And here's the perks right here and the attributes. Hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I'll be making some more content on this. This is your boy, Kedre. I am out.